Welcome, and thank you for joining us at French's Baptist uh, Devotionals. Before we begin our lesson, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for another opportunity to study your word. We ask that you open our ears and our minds and our hearts to hear, to receive, and learn these scriptures about the preeminent position of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his holy name we pray. Amen. Today we're going to focus on the preeminence of Christ. Preeminence means superior, surpassing all others. Christ is supreme in rank over all creation. Who is Jesus in the beginning? The Apostle Paul tells us in Colossians 1, 15 through 17, Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things are, were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist, or are held together. Paul tells us in Colossians 2, 9, For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Our beloved John, in his beginning of his book, uh, John 1, 1 through 3, says, in the, beginning, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. The Apostle Paul states the position of Jesus Christ as the head of the body of Christ. In Colossians 1, 18 through 19, he says, And he is the head of the body, the church, Jesus Christ, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence, for it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell, making complete. And Christ being made so much better than the angels. Reading from Hebrews 1, 1 through 4. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in the past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who, being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Every knee shall bow. Philippians 2, 8 through 11 and found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He sat down on the right hand of God. Hebrews 12, 2. 
looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. When did he sit down? This prophecy was fulfilled at the ascension. Mark sixteen nineteen. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, his disciples, on the Mount of Olives, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. This was the first um, prophesied, this was first prophesied in Psalm 110.1. The Lord said, and this is Lord in all capital letters, the Lord said unto my Lord, which is in lowercase letters, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. We do not see <clears throat> we do not see all things subjected to Christ yet. Hebrews 2, 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we do not yet see all things put under him. When will this prophecy be fulfilled? The end of the millennial kingdom. 1 Corinthians 15, 24, 28. Then comes the end when he, Christ, delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and all power. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. For he, the Father, has put all things under his feet. Jesus, that is Jesus. Now when all things are made subject to him, the Son, then the Son himself will also be subject to him, the Father that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for these word pictures of your dear Son, our Lord, that we can meditate on and wonder at so great a gift you provided us, that we may have a glorious hope in and through him. It is in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.